Hello collectors and welcome to my review of the SH Figure Arts Super Mario Diorama playset A and B. These add-on accessory sets for Mario help expand the playtime and display options, but are they worth the price? Let's take a look and see whether or not they're worth adding into your collection. To begin, both Diorama playsets A and B come with the Goomba you see here. Nice detailings to it. Unfortunately, there are some mold markings to it, but it's not that big of an issue. No paint slop on either of mine. No articulation at all. You think maybe a swivel of some kind would have been worked in here for the legs, but that's okay. He makes a nice little statue. Also, both sets come with the gold coin Mario comes with. Pretty neat. You can get more coins. Similar to Mario, you also get this smaller display stand for the coin. You should know how that works for Mario. But also, both diorama sets come with a larger display base for the coin to make it look like it's floating. Pretty neat. Diorama set A also comes with the question mark block that Mario comes with. The set also comes with two brick blocks. Nice detailing on them, but it's all paint or a decal of some kind. And all three blocks that you get in the set can be used together. Set A comes with this special green display base, which can be used for many things with the Figure Arts Mario. The first use for the base would be the blocks. So you get this longer pole that comes with set A. And all you do to begin with is you set the pole into the base like so. Very simple. Next, you take this little piece of plastic that you got with the set, and all you do is you just insert these little plugs into the brick blocks, like so. Then, after you have your bricks on, all you have to do is just line up the pole with the center hole in the piece of plastic. From there, your question mark block just slides in like so. And voila! You have floating blocks. Also, you could flip it if you so choose, so this way you can display it as if it was being hit by Mario. If you look at the back of the Figure Arts Mario, you'll see that there's this little divot here. And if you stick your nail in there, you could pull out this little piece of plastic that goes on Mario's back. And you can see some of the inner workings of it. Well, Diorama Set A comes with this little plug piece. And all you do is you stick it where that piece of plastic you remove goes. And then you take the display arm that comes with Diorama Set A and plug it into the hole in Mario's back. From there, plug it into the base, pose Mario accordingly, and then you can display Mario hitting the block and getting the coin. How cool is that? The big ticket item of Diorama Play Set B would have to be the warp pipe and the attachment parts. You get the main warp pipe, which has nothing in it, and you get the default attachment shallow part. This is the lid, which would go on top. Attaches easily. Comes off easily. And then you get this bigger, deeper part. Everything's painted green. There's some black on there. But really... It seems simplistic, but it's all about the play or display value. With the default part, you can make it look like there's a Goomba coming out of the warp pipe. Or even a coin floating right above it. Use the part strategically, along with another Goomba, and you can make it look like there's an enemy line coming straight out of the warp pipes. And with the deeper attachment, you can make it look like Mario is coming out of the warp pipe. Pretty cool. Set B also comes with this nicely sculpted and painted Koopa shell. Detailing is great here. And this can be used just as a general prop for a display or a weapon for Mario. The set also comes with these splayed hand parts with little holes in them. Swapping them out is pretty easy. All you have to do is remove the hand that's currently attached and then just pop the new ones onto the peg. This hand on mine doesn't necessarily like to go on too well, but a little bit of effort, you can get them on. 
Like Mario's hands, the inside of the Koopa shell have little peg holes, and you get two sets of these clear plastic pegs, which basically you plug them into Mario's hands, and then the Koopa shell. You get two angled ones, and you get two straight ones. Using them, it can be a little bit difficult. I highly suggest looking at the actual instructions instead of just relying on this video, but I'll show you how to do it anyway. So if you want Mario holding the shell this way, you're going to have to take the straight little pegs here and just plug them into the Koopa shell like this. They sort of sit at an angle and make sure you take the longer parts and plug them into the shell. After you got that down, line them up with Mario's hands. Like so. And now he's holding a Koopa shell. If you want Mario to hold the shell like this, you're going to have to use the angled parts. So take the longer end and just plug it in, like so. And then from there, all you have to do is just plug the Koopa shell into Mario's hands. Like so. Easy enough. Overall, the sets are both great. You get a fair amount with both sets, though I feel set A is a bit too much given set B is the same price. Both are $20 a piece, so if you get Mario, the whole shebang will be about $65. I highly recommend picking up the diorama sets along with Mario. Lots of army building potential, and everything in both sets is generic. There was never only one Goomba, Mystery Block, Coin, War Pipe, so on and so forth. That's why I bought two of each. If you like them, don't hesitate to buy them.